I have with me Pixel 4a and iPhone XR. And both these are older phones, but recently there was a price drop on Amazon and they are also available on Flipkart at a lesser price. We already know that these phones are from different segments, but now they are more or less in the same segment after the price drop. Both the phones are updated to the latest version of iOS and Android recently. iPhone XR is running on iOS 15.2 and Pixel 4a is updated to Android 12. Well, both these phones deserve a camera comparison. And also you'll get an idea whether you should buy these older phones in 2022 or not. So let's get into action. Let's talk about the main camera. Both the cameras share similar specifications, but both have different approaches towards still photography. In this shot, it is clearly visible that iPhone is keeping a warmer tone and darker areas are prominent, whereas the Pixel is having a cool tone and attempted to keep the important areas in focus. iPhone has given a slight blur effect on the left side of the headset. In this shot, both the phones have done a pretty decent job in capturing the detail and Pixel is consistently giving a natural looking shot as the leaves were a little on the yellowish side. iPhone is focusing on a better looking picture. Both these shots are good and iPhone shot is punchier. Both these phones are capable enough to capture a good amount of details and that's clearly visible in this shot. Now, this shot is controversial, as definitely iPhone has given a good looking shot, but the Pixel here is more natural and true to life. These bananas look exactly the same in Pixel's photo as I saw them when I captured this image. iPhone shot has given these bunch of bananas a completely ripe look, but that was not true as we can see in the Pixel shot. Overall, this is a tie for me, but you can let me know in the comments whether you like a punchier photo or a better looking shot or you want a good photo with the natural look. Next, we have night mode. Both the phones handle low light shots pretty badly, but here Pixel 4a is saved by its night mode, whereas iPhone doesn't have one. Just for the sake of comparison, let's look at this shot here. And it's a no-brainer that iPhone can't stand in this round as Pixel phones are known for the best night mode. This shot is taken in a pitch dark room and hardly there was any source of light for the object iPhone shot is barely recognizable and pixel shot you can even read some text. Not just this, it also has another astrophotography mode that takes stunning pictures of stars and iPhone doesn't have one. Let's get into the video mode now and here we will focus on these parameters. Both the phones are doing a pretty decent job in the first look but things become more dramatic when the angle or position of the camera is changed iPhone looks consistent and has a warm tone and Pixel maintains a cooler tone. Both are having a good amount of details, but things pretty soon start falling away from Pixel as sometimes it overexposes and brightens up the background. This is where the Pixel starts showing Pixels. Why did I say that? Well, in 4K 30fps shot, Pixel 4a does a decent job this time and is handling exposure a lot better when compared to the previous clip. On the other hand, the iPhone 4K feels much smoother when compared to 4K video of the Pixel. In 4K with 60fps, iPhone absolutely crushed Pixel 4a's video and Pixel 4a was found struggling in low light and captured a grainier shot. One more important piece of information, Pixel 4a doesn't have 60fps mode in 4K and this is a 2020 phone. Let's look at this shot. Both are doing a pretty decent job when it comes to stabilization. But iPhone is more consistent here, as even during the movement, it tries to maintain good exposure and accurate colors. And Pixel does miss the colors more often due to the uneven brightness and exposure. In color production, iPhone is giving a hard time to Pixel, as consistently in every scenario, it is giving a better looking shot with more accurate colors. Whereas Pixel is having a decent shot when it is not compared to the iPhone. Actually, iPhone has set the standard here, as even the most recent phones from other brands will fall in front of this more than three years older iPhone. Well, the portrait mode. This round is the decider and let's see which phone shines in the end. In this shot, Apple plays safe and adds a subtle blur in the background. Where Google Air means business, you wanted background blur and here it is. Google's post-processing pretty much does the job of keeping the tone cooler and natural with effective background blur. This is same shot on Google with and without portrait mode and you can easily make out the difference. In iPhone shot, you can hardly make much difference. 
the shot with portrait mode and without portrait mode is pretty much similar. And the way I see things, why there is an additional mode for portrait then? And this shot here makes it more interesting, where Pixel 4a has taken an aggressive approach and reminded iPhone that this is the portrait mode round and it easily outshines in this round. And if you want to edit a portrait shot in Google Photos, it can look like this, as you can add the beauty later, but not the blur. So, the key takeaways are that camera of Pixel 4a in this segment is unmatched. And considering the fact that iPhone is an older phone, with better hardware is an overall good phone. But the computational photography in Google's phone is exceptional, with iPhone having the best video camera till date. And one more thing, you can download all the photos from the link in the description and let me know your observations in the comments. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.